As we continue to examine the indictment of former President Trump, there are many legal es experts who are warning of the harm that's caused from a sitting president tar targeting an opposing presidential candidate. And as we just heard, that seemingly is exactly what's taking place here. As we learned from the recently released Durham report, the Department of Justice and the FBI have shown a pattern of targeting opponents, with many Republican leaders fortunately saying uh, that this has to come to an end. And what's happening now to President Trump is but yet another example of this type of targeting. Well, joining me now to discuss this and more is Congressman Eric Burleson. He serves on the House Oversight and Accountability Committee as well as the House Education Committee and the Transportation Committee. He represents the 7th Congressional District in Missouri. Congressman Burleson, welcome to Washington Watch. It's an honor to have you. It's an honor to be on, Jody. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. All right, you have been very vocal on all of this uh, weaponization of the Department of Justice and the FBI. You have come out strongly against this. Uh, is that what we're really seeing here, in your opinion? Is our federal government being weaponized to go after political opponents? Yeah, I think what's sad is we're seeing the swamp try to take over. When the question we should all be asking is who's in charge? Are the National Archives more powerful than the former president, or at that time, the president of the United States? Is the FBI more powerful or have more authority than Congress? And yet, the FBI is thumbing its nose at Congress when we request documents, even for unclassified documents. We had to fight tooth and nail to get access to these unclassified documents. First, Christopher Wray denied their existence. And then eventually when pressed, uh, when, we, when we had access to the document or showed him that we knew it existed, he had to provide it. Then, now we know, because that document includes references to other 1023 documents, we know that they were lying to us all, the, all along. They've had access to multiple reports from, related to, the, to Joe Biden and this pay-for-play scheme, and the FBI has done nothing about it. And yet, it's just they're going to go after Trump for these, for these silly, bogus charges. Yeah, it's, it is unbelievable what we are watching before our eyes. And I've referenced this in using the uh, illustration, the word picture of the, of the smoke screen. Uh, of course, we're seeing all sorts of smoke in Washington right now as we're all gagging to death walking around town. Uh, but deeper and worse than the smoke coming from the Canadian fires is the smoke coming from the Democratic Party right now. And uh, this whole indictment, occurring on the very same day that the evidence comes to you and other members of the Oversight Committee regarding the alleged $5 million payment to President Biden from uh, this Ukrainian national, are we out of focus or out of alignment to think that there just might be more going on here than a mere coincidence? Oh, absolutely. Let's, let's roll back a little bit. Remember, when we first heard about the Treasury documents, the, the suspicious activity reports, this is back in earlier this year, the same week the Oversight Committee and the information and the news broke about these suspicious activity reports that the Biden family had, there's 150 of them sitting in Treasury. That same week is the week that, that uh, Alvin Bragg in New York prosecuted Donald Trump. So mm -hmm. the, you know, these, these things are, seem to be lining up and coincidence seems to be occurring, but eventually it's no longer coincidence. It's clear that the deep state is out to get Donald Trump and they're out to, to whitewash Joe Biden. Well, the, the pattern is there, and I'm, I appreciate you bringing that up. Uh, do you consider this election interference? I do. I think that it's disturbing that they're going to use these, what, what, are, what has really never been used before, they're going to go after Trump for these unclassified documents, blame him for, at the end of the day, he was president of the United States. He could unilaterally make them all unclassified. That's his prerogative. 
But the fact that they're going to go after him for this and then not go after Joe Biden for all the documents that he had for over a decade sitting in his garage floor is, re is, is just appalling. And I think most Americans see through this. They see it for what it is. And I think that the American people, this is why I think history and what's happening here is, is greater than the moment. We cannot let the deep state do to this this person, the, the top candidate for president in 2024, we cannot let the deep state take him out the way that they're doing. If, if we allow this to happen, then history will judge us for this. And this might be the beginning of the downfall of the United States of America. Good, good observation. Uh, and I, listen, I'm so grateful that you're on the oversight committee and uh, so many of my former colleagues, you guys are doing an awesome job. Uh, but right now, you and the committee are uh, pursuing all the facts regarding the payments to the Biden family uh, for influence peddling, uh, really. Uh, we know about the alleged Burisma payments to President Biden, some $5 million. Uh, what can you tell us about how the investigation is going at this point? So. We know about that payment that has opened up because we had access to these um, 1023 documents. They, those have, are referencing other ones. Chairman Comer is going to get access to those other 1023 documents. And uh, it's more than likely that those are going to include other transactions from other countries. We know from the Treasury reports and those those uh, documents that there are other countries involved, including the Chinese energy company, including a company from the United Arab, Arab Emirates, um, a company from Romania. So we know that there's other countries involved. You know, it's ironic, but China is probably the most noble actor in the in the of countries that the Biden family is doing business with. Wow. Well, listen, uh, of course, we all know President Biden is just saying it's all malarkey. Uh, we've seen that. But listen, I just, again, want to thank you, Congressman Eric Burleson, for taking time out of your schedule to be with us here on Washington Watch this evening. And uh, we're honored to have you on the program and grateful to have you in Congress. Thank you, Jody.